Hey, I'm Ditech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mount your graphics card vertically inside of your PC case instead of horizontally. Now, all PC cases are different, so the case that you might want to do this to might not look like the case that I'm doing this to, but don't worry about that because the process remains the same. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a vertical mounting point with vertical PCI slots so that you can get at the in-out ports on the back of your graphics card. And you could go about manufacturing one of these by yourself, but only using hand tools. That process will take you hours and hours and hours to do. So really, it just makes more sense to buy a pre-manufactured mount like this one so that you don't have to build one yourself. Now, this mount was $20, and it is exactly what we need. And all of the tools and this mount, for example, everything that I use in this video will be linked down in the description of the video so that you can get them yourself. So very simply, what we're doing in this video is mounting this thing vertically inside of our case. Now, to give you a visual representation of what we're doing here, usually your graphics card is mounted like this onto the PCI slots that are attached to your case horizontally and it will look like this inside of your case but we are going to turn this thing mount it vertically inside of the case so that it's mounted like this so the tools i'm using for this mod are a rivet gun and 1 8 inch rivets or three millimeter rivets i also have a 1 8 inch drill bit so that i can drill holes for these rivets the screw holes for this mounting bracket are size 632 and i know this because that's what it says on the website. And so I have six 632 screws to put in those holes. And depending on how you wanna go about attaching this to your case, there are two very similar methods, but I'm gonna show you both of them. First of all, if there is a flat spot in your case that you can fit the entire mounting bracket onto, all you need to do is make a large enough rectangular hole where that flat spot is in your case to fit the IO ports on your GPU through and then drill a bunch of tiny holes around that rectangular hole to fit all of these mounting points through. Then you wanna make threads in those holes so that you can thread these screws through these mounting holes on your bracket and then through the holes that you just made threads on in your case. Now to do this, you're gonna to need to match up the threads in these holes with the threads on your case. And since this is a 632 size hole with threads in it, you need a tap that can make threads in your case that are size 632. So that's what I have right here. This is a tapping tool and you just take your little tap that attaches to the end of that tool and this will make size 632 threads in your holes. You know what tap to buy because on the packaging that comes with the tap, it says so right there, 632. My tap happened to also come with a drill bit that's size 632. Some of them won't, so you're gonna have to get the drill bit separately, but Mine just so happened to come with a drill bit. So this is one method that you can go about attaching your mounting bracket to your case with. And the other method is just to use tiny nuts and lock washers. And I have size 632 nuts and lock washers that will fit on the end of these screws and nuts. If you use the nuts and lock washers method, you won't have to tap the holes that you drill in your case in order to fit these screws through to get this uh, mounting bracket onto your case with because the nuts and the lock washers will do the job of the tapped holes in your case. If this all sounds confusing to you, hopefully it makes more sense when you actually see me do it. Now I actually don't have a flat spot big enough in my PC to be able to mount this bracket to, so I have to create my own flat spot. And this is a little cardboard template of the piece of metal that I'm going to be mounting where the PCI slots currently are. I'm gonna cut those out and mount this piece of metal and then mount the vertical bracket onto that piece of metal. As for the 1 8 rivets, the rivet gun and the 1 8 drill bit that I have here, I'm going to be taking the back panel off of this case so that I can modify it like that. And then I'm gonna rivet it back onto the case when I'm done. Besides that, I'm also gonna be mounting the flat metal surface onto my case with rivets. So. The bracket will be attached to the flat metal surface with screws and the flat metal surface will be attached to the case with rivets. I feel so out of line every time that you call my name. I want to make a move, but I'm scared to say it. It's taken a while to get this far. I'm caught in the way. It's taking a lot to get this close We're one and the same Chasing colors after dark In your heart I believe in you The way you pull me in Can't pretend we're a work of art After dark in your heart I believe in you The way you pull me in Can't pretend I'll be chasing colors
And so that is how you modify your case to mount your GPU vertically. Hopefully it was clear that you don't necessarily need to mount your bracket to a metal rectangle like I did and then mount the rectangle to the case. If you have a spot in your case that's already there that's flat and doesn't have any kind of vent holes or anything like that and that's big enough for your bracket, just mount it directly to your case and just forget about the metal piece altogether. However, for me, in this case, I did not have a flat spot in my case, so I had to make a flat spot myself. It's better that way anyway, because that's kind of worst case scenario. If you have a flat spot, it'll be much easier for you. And once your mod is complete and you finally mounted your graphics card vertically in your case, all you need is a PCIe extension cable that goes from your graphics card to your motherboard to plug in your graphics card. 
If you don't know what that is, there will be a link in the description to one of them that would work. Anyway, I've got a lot of really exciting mod projects coming up, and if you're interested in seeing some of them and you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.